different from the forest. Men, dwarves, elves, very well. Yeah, it's pretty different from the forest. But where exactly are we supposed to go in the graveyard? Is she going to react to something? I don't recall any kind of a tomb in this game like that. What she's describing, some Dragomir's tomb. I'm seeing if there's a map marker at the game ads. There's maybe a, like a half a dozen uh, smallish tombs here, and then the lower level larger tomb. Nearby you see an open grave. A chill runs up your spine as you hear a sound emit from it. You shake your head and continue walking. The sound is clearer now. You are not imagining it. Muffled cries for help are coming from the grave. Oh, hello. <coughs> oh, bless you, my lord. Bless you. <coughs> I did not know how much longer I would have survived buried in there were like as I was. Uh, and how did you end up being buried alive? I, I was buried by the men who kidnapped me. They had held me for ransom for my family, and after my family had paid, they knocked me out. I, I remember being carried here and thrown into that grave next to another body. And, and then they buried me alive. I'm, I'm sure I would have died if you had not arrived so soon. Oh, what a horrid death these evil men had in store for me. What can you tell me about them? I don't know their names. There were three of them. The youngest carried me here. He dressed all in red. Strange and bright as you please. I woke up with this in my hand. I think I must have torn it off of his shirt when he threw me in the grave. Here, perhaps it will help you find him. Um, anything else you can think of? Only that there was someone who spoke of this man. Perhaps the gravekeeper. You should talk to him at least. He must have seen something. Yeah. Uh, this is still not what we came here to do. These are access points to the lower levels. Uh. Yeah, and just the lower tomb. Is it the lower tomb or is it some of the top side tombs? That's the gravekeeper, I don't particularly want to talk to him now. I don't want to get sidetracked. Entrance to lower tombs. Is it in the lower tombs then? I, I don't think so. It's there's there's no extra places for there to be anything, that's the problem. One is for again I don't know, I, I don't recall it. Well there's a dwarf who has a quest there, and there are vampires, spiders. Uh, there's there's no real extra place I can think of. This is just a random tomb. What do you? It's so cloudy. A zircon. What would you? I look forward to it. I will enjoy this. I don't want to come here. It will be done. Well, there's one there and one there. This will just have to go through all the all the tombs. See when we find something. And fuck. Where are they going? They don't even have the common sense to move through the darkened areas.
There's a ghost there. Who are you? Mama, Papa, is that you? Uh, what manner of spirit are you? Why are you not addressed? Spirit? I... My name is Willem. I just want... I just want my stuffed bear back. It's my favorite bear, little man. Bad man who came into our house. He... He hurt me and he took little man with everyone else. I can never go to sleep without little man. Okay, so a thief killed you and took your stuffed bear along with the rest of his loot. Well, if I found this bear for you, would you be at peace? Oh yes, I, I could go to sleep if I only had him. Would you get him for me? Would you please, please, please? Okay, where is it? The, the bad man has it at the inn in the slums. The copper or something. He is in one of those bedrooms in the back. I think his name's Linus. I've, I've gone to him. I've tried to tell him that I just want my bear, please. But he just gets too frightened of me. Oh, please get it from him. I should be a trivial task to do. This is the place. The tomb of Dragomir. Uh. Open it. I would see this great treasure you promised. Nice camera work here. It's nowhere near where it should be. A terrifying howl escapes the opening tomb door, and you shiver as a sinister presence washes over you. Uh, okay. You must enter the tomb. I don't really get what's going on here, really. We got a. Uh, we got two spells of the fifth level. I took the chaotic commands, but recall spirit. Shaman calls back a deceased person's spirit, and if it still lingers, hit the body. Casting is comfortable, it's basically a resurrection. Brace dead spell. I will listen for now. Victory unclear. Destruction certain. Uh, they're fairly easy to hit, don't require anything special to damage. Easily. I must. Enter. Um. We'll go together. So basically, wish. what they did was add a door to an existing map. That's it. It has U systems can be used to heal, cure diseases, and poisons. Uh, how many? And not our first choice, but it's good backup. Of my talents, but so be it. So, what exactly is this all about? Surprising amount of work for this no cutscene entirely. The treasure is still here. Where is it? Yeah, the thieves are telling me to enter the tomb. Um why? Free us! Awake the sleeper! Hmm, that's it? You 
have a problem. Ready for fine. Ah. You are going somewhere. Something badly wrong with Hexad. Very well. There's a small slot within the wall that a cylinder of some sort could fit into. Get down, everyone! You are a slippery one! Shade Wolves. Mm, might be better to... Just cast a trap protection yes. spell. Taste darkness, fool. I look forward. These traps here are disabled after they trigger once. You are lucky. Yes, if it's required. What would kill them all and have done with it? What would you have me do, if that is what you want? Incomplete skeleton. Mind your toe, I look forward to it. Probably a dagger plus two. Not a plus one. Plus two dagger. Um, do we have a spoon? Yes. Yes we do. What do you... You have a pri what I will do you enjoy want? this. Ooh. My head hurts. You are good. I will take care of this. You must enter the tomb. Why? It's the only way to get to the treasure. So the treasure is in there. The way to it lies within. Be careful. Right. Why can't you come with us? I cannot. You must go. Fine. Crap. I think we triggered it. Not quite. Not close though. Mm. Yeah, it will be done. What is that? Shadow of Pain. You, the... you are a slippery one. Happy to have That's you. bad. You try to it paralyzes. Me. What can I do? Uh, take it out. Also immune to fire damage apparently. Are lucky I'm, here. I'm ready! Sure. More of them. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I, I can't Did actually counter that. I'm nothing to really play them out of the fight either. Shit. I need something much more. What will it be? Get down, everyone! And extra paralysis. What are you doing? Are you doing anything? 
now. I just can't really harm anyone. Shit. Very well. Can't protect from that, can't remove the effect. So we get paralyzed. It would be so much better if someone who isn't like two thirds of our attack power wouldn't be the one who gets paralyzed. You must enter. It's the only way to it lies with. I cannot. You must go. What can I do? You hide in shadows, bro. Anyone. If it is necessary, as you wish. So the creatures aren't actually here at the moment. They'll just mysteriously pop up when we. That might have been the trap, actually. Yes, if it's required. I will listen. I didn't really consider yours. that. No, it was not. Might be vulnerable to spirit fire. Mind, I will take care of this. Let me help you anyway. You have a problem. And they don't really hit anyone. You are going somewhere you do not. Let's try it again. Hmm, that's it. It doesn't seem to affect anyone. Did it even hit anyone? They seem to be within the area of effect, but uh, at the same time, clearly not. Nothing. They didn't do any saving throws or anything. is wrong. The sleeper is near but not here. Um who is this sleeper? The sleeper must awake. Why? The sleeper is valuable beyond price. Okay. What exactly happened? Here lies Dragomir the Elder, but no one's here. The top of the ancient stone tomb slides away in an unnaturally easy fashion. Within you can see only darkness and feel only a cold rush of air from within. Uh, as this seems to be like a uh, tiny expanse a little bit. Uh, I just I just can't fucking control it. This window. Like I why the fuck do you create make this window in a way that when you minimize it, it blocks the text? Like, that's the worst possible fucking thing you can do. I, I don't know. And it would be trivially easy to just do something else. Alter it a little bit. Anything. Change where the position of the button is. Button is it. Yeah, you can you come after us or not? You want. No, she Ready cannot come. Fine. Why? What would you have me do? I don't really understand I why. She's some under some kind of a control I I imagine. Your guard, Havoc. Uh, I'm always on my guard. Who are you? You stand before Burik, the unyielding. 
Father. Honor to make your acquaintance, Spirit. Spare me the pleasantries, half orc. Prepare for battle. Um. No wish to fight you. Then you've got a problem. My orders are clear. clear. Uh, who gave you the orders? I don't recall. It's all a little foggy. Uh, All right, then, um, forget the orders a moment and tell me this. Do you want to fight me? I do, actually, and I shall. Well, good enough for me. And we walk into the <gasps> Motherfuckers. Okay, I was expecting something more from him. Iron Rod. This six inch iron rod is engraved with an intricate, delicate design. Notches on the top and bottom make the rod seem like it fits into a larger device of some sort. Also, it looks like a lightsaber. Well, there was a thing at the. near the entrance. You excellent. Well, I don't understand why this climbing business has to be done Mind individually. Your tone. A waste of my talents, but so be it. Happy to have sure. The rod is a key. There is an opening near the tomb's entrance. It should fit. Use it quickly. You have a problem? Hexa tells me the iron rod can open Dragomir's chamber, but it will seal us within the tomb until the vampire is destroyed. Very well. It's not actually too big of a problem because I have a well protection from level drain. That basically just means we can fight the bastard. Um. And also charm, but that's also not a problem. Do what is required. Oh, why don't you have any potions? Hmm. Yes. We will take action soon. I'm ready. Oh. Uh, I need to get out of. I need to get everyone into the green. Even a normal vampire fight would be somewhat dangerous to us. If we get lucky, not so much, but I mean, you can, can't do exactly why. I look forward to it. You push the iron rod into the opening, and it is swallowed entirely. Shortly afterwards, a distant click can be heard. You have been sealed in, but somehow you know a way forward has opened. What would you have me do? My head hurts. Yes? Yeah, the invisibility spell. Do you? It's... I Go and explore the traps. I, I will try. Since great evil, fabled treasure, terrible danger, probably some spiders. Mind your tone, very well. It's so cloudy.
You have a pro- I look forward to it. Of antidotes. You are, I will enjoy this. You are lucky as you wish. Drago Mir. Doesn't spot invisible creatures. It's like a demon knight more than a vampire. I think it's aware of something. Okay. More or less, it's gonna be a fighter type, though. Mm, we probably do want to talk to it. What is this? It doesn't exactly look all that inviting. Uh, can't get through. Probably need to face the guy. Hmm. Yeah, I will take care. Um, still, don't have to worry about traps. That's the deal. What exactly can it do? How how long do my buffs even last? Or are there other protections? One turn per level. One turn per level five rounds. Okay, negative plane protection cannot. It need to. It needs constant replenishment. The others we could just cast and leave it at that. How many times can we cast? Not that many. I, I want to basically secure Dorn's capabilities. That's basically it. Because as long as he can do things, I think we'll be more or less fine. What would you have me What's do? the casting time on the protection against negative energy? Uh, it's fairly fast to cast. It will be done. Your blood is rather inviting. What is this I see before me? Are you real, man, or does my mind play tricks upon me? I am Melis the Vulture, I assure you I am real. Why have you come to my tomb, Melis the Vulture? Helping a friend? Pixad, how many more fools will you sacrifice before you realize you will never escape this place? Never is a long time, Dragomir. Taste darkness, fool! What will it be? Has something on it. And you... Uh, Mel's Minion Meteor is my best choice. Oh, fuck. Could you... get rid of that? What can I do? Get down, everyone! I will only slow you down. Hmm. Let me help. Does fire damage work on it? He's he's a fighter, but he's uh, actually a capable fighter. Ready for it's always anything? problematic. There's no real debuff I can work on him. Ah, 
Crap. Most of the guys participating in this fight are basically worthless. What do you want? Mind your I'm ready. You have a waste of my talents, but so be it. Yeah, we are not in a good shape at all. Not sure what I could really do to him. The problem is he's actually fairly resistant to almost everything I can, can do. Uh, and my healing spells are terrible, so it's not like I can really contribute anything directly either. Let's beat the shit out of it, I guess. We have spells, they're just not pretty good at target damage on a single target. I don't think you've done anything useful in the entire point. What would you have me do? Mm. Yes. Very well. What can I do? What will it be? Well, these horrible spells are better than nothing. Would you have me do? Might be able to debuff it a little bit, but that's not gonna work on him. Neither is gonna poison. Hmm. I suppose. Burn him. What can you do? I, I don't care. Do something. Oh crap. I am Dawn Ilkar. I do as I will. You do not give me. I can't really do much about this. You are going very well. What you want, that is all. Go good Dragomir. Well, I'm the slower than Rasar, so I'll never catch him. Yes. How long were you planning on following me? What would you have? I look forward to it. Dragomir is dead. Yeah. He's been dead a long time now, but this time he will not rise again. How exactly is that gonna work? Because uh, Baldur's Gate 2 has a lot of vampires, but all the even remotely imported ones need to be staked in their coffins. You can't just fight them and it means nothing. They'll turn to gas and escape. We're very close to where we need to be now. We must move forward. Might as well, might as well finish the job. We are very close now. Yeah. What I'm wondering is, what exactly are we close to? What can I do? I will listen, for now. I will enjoy this. What does the cloak do? This cloak was crafted and imbued with powerful undead magic by the necromancer Zulan Fars while she was in the employ of the warlord Dragomir. Dragomir had been turned to vampirism and not wanting to leave his previous life behind, demanded that Zulan craft a magical garment 
that would allow him to travel in the light of the sun without being destroyed. While Zulan was successful, the cloak severely dampened many of the vampiric abilities that Dragomir had come to enjoy. For this inconvenience, she was drained of her life's blood by Dragomir and left to die. Allows a vampire to travel outside during the day in the full, full view of the sun, albeit with the following penalties. Minus 6 strength, minus 4 dexterity, intelligence minus 2, wisdom minus 2, charisma minus 4. Wearable only by vampires. So, catastrophic debuff. Uh, anyone carrying this is borderline worthless in any kind of uh, melee combat situation. Vampire or not. A wave of foul necrotic energy hits you. You withdraw immediately and involuntarily. Only someone of single minded purpose could overcome this barrier. What do you... what do you want? Mind your toe. So, again, an impossible obstacle to bypass without the correct character in the party. The sleeper. She wakes. Mistress, I've done as you command. Please let me live. Forgive me, Clara. This is the only way. Ah. Uh. Good to finally meet you. I lost the vulture. Good to finally meet you. Hmm. We only lost, uh, well, the other woman from the party, so wonder what happens if I just pick a fight here. I've no desire to fight you. Uh, exactly. I just happens. spent more than two hundred years in a coffin. I won't let you put me in another. A waste of time. Taste my foot. Why can't I do anything with? So, right, I don't think I can in any way get the other thief back. It's, uh, what can I? Right, so it's either Very well. Vampire Lady or nothing. Sleeper, she wakes. Forgive me, Clara. This is the uh. only way. I wasn't exactly super attached to the woman either, so it's not like it's a huge loss. Just wanted to know my options here. There is no Good option. To finally, meet you. <sighs> I've no desire to. Fight okay, you. what exactly do you desire? That is a good question. Friends are always handy, but we should get out of this place first. Yeah, the most sensible thing I've heard all day, and it comes from the woman who just used another woman as a wineskin. No. 
Oh, I don't think I want to say that. Um, maybe you should first tell me your name. I am Hexeth. Try and keep up. Right, you just ate Hexat. She merely borrowed my name. Who is she? A pawn in a game I've been playing a long, long time. Her sacrifice was unfortunate, but necessary. Uh, we, I, I don't like my conversation options here. I suppose Death is No Game comes closest to what I had in mind, but I'd like to. I, I don't. I don't feel like I want to do this shitty judgment kind of thing here. I, I don't understand what's going on. Everything's a game. And if I don't want to play. Then you'll lose. I've some personal matters that need tending to. Meet me at the Copper Coronet in two hours. What are you going to do? I need to see an... old friend. How exo old exactly, but uh, how long have you been stuck here? Too long. See you in two hours. Rug. What would I look forward to it? A thief's a thief, I guess. I'm not particularly that attached to the Clara woman. What can't I say? I will listen for now. I will enjoy this. Something going to happen? No, it just didn't want to allow me to save for some reason. Where is it? Where is Dragomir's cloak? Uh, you mean... Bella Melas the Vulture's cloak. Give it to me. Give me some answers first. What do you want to know? How did you come to be trapped in Dragomir's tomb? I mean, I could ask about the cloak, but it's obvious what the cloak does. Um, and it's it's totally worthless to me, so I, I'm, I'm not particularly attached to it. It was supposed to be a simple job. Break into a tomb, grab the Guest of Honor's helmet, and get out. And things didn't go as planned. Getting in was easy. Talking my way past Birch wasn't much harder. I found Dragomir's body in what appeared to be a deep slumber. Took the helmet from his head, and that's when everything went to hell. What I didn't know was that the cask was cursed. Dragomir wasn't sleeping. He was paralyzed, at least until I removed his helm. Once it, was, once it was up, he attacked. After I was turned, at the peak of my thirst, he put the cask on me, keeping me from feeding even on the vermin that infested the tomb. What he didn't realize was that the helm had other properties. It took me years before I realized the voices in my head weren't just in my head. When I concentrated, I could hear the thoughts of those above, and with extreme effort, I could reach out to others who were most like me in life, 
and in some cases guide them. So the helm lets you control the minds of other people. Just those who were like me, and the wearer cannot move with the cast on their head. Have you tried using it without putting it on your head? No, and I'm not about to try. I've been trapped in this pit far too long as it is. Fair enough. Let's get out of here and we can experiment a bit. Exot requires Dragomir's cloak to walk in the daylight. But uh, even there's a lot of vampires around, so I can't. Whatever. Did he take the cloak? I mean, it's worthless to me. Just fucking take Have it. Have you found the cloak yet? Here, take it. Ah, it feels like I'm wearing a wet rug, and is nowhere near as fetching. Hmm. Yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. It's nothing. For a moment, I felt different. The protection spells were rougher than I expected. So you're all right? Fine. I'm fine. There's business I must attend to. Meet me at the coronet in two hours. Is that a good idea? Perhaps you should stick with me for the time being. You're right. If Els waited this long, another few hours won't hurt him. 1000 experience points. What exactly does a vampire mean in reality? She's a thief. Neutral evil. She's basically the same character as the thief we had. Just a actual vampire instead of a human. The skills seem to be more or less in the same place. There might be differences, but I'm not spotting any major ones. Short sword dagger. Single weapon style club. Why isn't it in proficiencies? Why is it a fighting style? Uh, I, I don't. Probably because she's a vampire and there is no vampire uh, race to pick. So, uh. Someone who made it has to have improvised somehow. She's immune to poisons, which I guess is worth something. Good strength, good dexterity, constitution not remarkable, intelligence not remarkable, wisdom average, charisma strong. So, if she was anything but a thief, those attributes might actually be very useful. Probably a very good range weapon user, that's why she doesn't have a range weapon. And if she had a thief kit, I think she would be better, but uh, there's so many uh, annoying traps in this game, I'll, I'm happy to take any thief. Cask of Dragomir Cask of Dragomir was constructed by his followers when they realized that his vampiric lust for power and destruction would ultimately be their undoing. Both wearing and respecting Dragomir, fearing and respecting Dragomir, they decided to immobilize and entomb him rather than attempt to destroy him. In pursuing this plan, they crafted the cask. When placed upon the head of an undead creature, the powerful magic stuns the wearer and prevents them from moving entirely while the cask remains on their head. Hexat, not realizing this, erroneously woke Dragomir from his slumber when she attempted to steal the cask. The Cask of Dragomir is a powerful nexus of undead magic and has many interesting properties that go beyond what the creator had intended. Um, it has just drastic penalties. Do they apply immediately? Yeah. Mind your toe. I will take care of this. I wonder if okay, she got a level up. I wonder if this has to be manually managed. 
I, I would assume that if you accidentally go in the daylight, she's not gonna say suddenly burst into fire and die. But uh, never know. Backstab multiplier increased. Seventy-five additional points added. So that's about three level ups as far as I can see. At least two. Looking at the hit points. I'd say three though. Okay, what exactly do we need to do? Find traps is pretty much mandatory since open locks. Um, they're about as good as they're gonna get at 100. At least finding traps is. I'm not really looking for a sneak thief. Picking pockets. I, I, I don't want to bother with that. It might have uses here and there, but, um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't particularly care. Set traps. These have amazing traps uh, when they reach the high levels, like killing boss fights immediately. Type of abilities. So I think it's worthwhile start investing in this direction, but it's not a high priority. At Hiding shadows and moves only contribute to the same stealth, so it doesn't particularly matter where you put your points. And stealth can be useful at times, but I think I'll push set traps forward at the moment. I'm not sure if open locks 100 is enough. Okay, level 11. Do you have any hmm. piece of equipment? Nope. You have a problem? It will be done. Okay, this is basically our party. Oh no no no, there's one more guy we one more guy we can add. That's the weird one. It, it has some kind of complications with getting him. Another another new guy, so we could get a full six man party filled with new guys. Um it, it has something there was a warning about the sixth guy. If we push Miras and Rasads Personal quest too far, he no longer becomes. An, he's, he's no longer an option. So he should be appearing somewhere along the Rasa's quest line. So if we basically push that forward a little bit, we should get the sixth guy. However, we're gonna go with Door in this mission next. It's just something I'd like to try to pursue as early as possible, so we can get the six-man party together. Okay, I've been expecting this. Look, Hexat, you're a lovely in a faintly terrifying way, and I like you very much. That's a friend. Yeah, I don't think she's suggesting anything. And this is our first proper discussion with her, so yeah, probably, probably not. Uh, what is it? I need you to hold on to this for me. Uh, a sack. Why? This was Dragomir's secret weapon. A way to easily transport his coffin wherever he traveled. It gave him an incalculable, incalculable advantage in the campaigns he waged. He had his trusted lieutenants hold the bag. In the event that he was struck down, the means of his regeneration would be close at hand. An ingenious device. I'm putting my life in your hands here. Don't let me down. Uh, what ex is it exactly? Dragomir's Respite. A modified bag of holding that belongs to Dragomir the Warlord, a powerful vampire. 
In his endless military campaigns, Dragomir was frequently at the forefront of battle. Despite his vampiric abilities, he was cut down on more than one occasion. Upon reverting to gaseous form, he would have to travel a long distance back to his camp before he could enter his coffin to regenerate. Turning to the magical arts once again, Dragomir had his coffin placed within a bag of holding and had it magically bound so that it could not be removed. Then, when he was cut down, he only had to travel a short way to a trusted knight that held the bag for him. It was this trust, however, that ultimately resulted in him being betrayed and entombed for centuries. The bag itself is a common cloth sack of about 2 feet by 4 feet in size. It opens into a non-dimensional space, with its inside being vastly larger than the outside. Regardless of whatever is placed into the bag, it will always have the same weight. Though a bag of holding has no atmosphere within, vampires have no need to breathe and can rest inside comfortably. I use it as a bag of holding. Oh, the casket is there. Yeah, I, I can. That is a clever way to give me a bag of holding at the start of the game. I don't have any uh, immediate plans of using it as a normal bag of holding, but we can, in when inventory space runs out, use it. I mean, if she's not going to die, she wouldn't... I, I don't know how she would feel about it. Me basically filling the bag with some other crap. That does mean that yeah, he might she might actually die in daylight. Just poof and then go back in the bag. Ah my eyes Are you alright? I'll survive. More than I could say if I wasn't wearing Dragomir's cloak. At least I know the rack works now. Is she actually wearing it? Yeah. A false stone trap at the entry of the Dragomir Dragomir's crypt caused Hex had some severe discomfort. Fortunately, she was wearing Dragomir's cloak. If she wasn't, I'd suspect she'd be ashes right now. You are going somewhere you do not easily. Right. So Dorn's quest will be a waste of my talents, but so be it. Hmm. Yes. It's be it's good to be traveling with you once more. We are a formidable pair, you and I. Yep. But I see you still have other companions. Yeah, for the time being, yes. You must know, they will aid you only while it is convenient. You can trust no one but yourself. Yourself included? Ah, no, you may trust me. Our goals are lied and our relationship is one of mutual benefit. I will not betray you so long as you do not betray me. Uh, okay. Thanks for sharing. Very well. So, you arrived in Arm recently. This... John Irenicus kidnapped you? That couldn't have been fun. In the up. Yeah, it wasn't, but I'm free now. Rather, I'd rather not dwell on it. Understandable. The thought of being imprisoned. Ugh. You've had a taste of what I'm most afraid of. Being taken by a crazy wizard who wants to tear you apart because of what you are. Not even who you are. What you are. Know what I mean? Yeah, I know what she means. Uh, it has nothing to do with what she is, who she is as a person, or the actions she, she has done. Just what she is. So, being treated, yeah, it's a terrible thing. Being treated as if what you think and feel is of no consequence. Exactly! I want the world to know that I can't be tossed aside. That I matter. Don't you? Uh... I guess? Uh, 
uh, again I, I don't like my options uh, the main thing isn't necessarily the number of options it's the follow-up sentences they're sort of hyperbolic at some for some point so yeah sure usually I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die no matter what but I know exactly what you're saying I guess that makes us peas in a pod an enormous pod, obviously, with multiple bedrooms, an outhouse, and a wood-burning stove. Yeah, I'm pretty sure knee rice are no, uh, no, Jesus Christ, words, romantic option, because uh, there's quite a few, there's always sort of, you can suggest something uh, going uh, in that direction, in her dialogue option. Um. Uh. Yep, yeah, sounds lovely. I might have said this earlier, probably did. I I'm not into Mira uh, at all. I I I think she's a bit better better character in what I've seen in this game so far than she was in Polar Skate One. So uh, I, I don't dislike her quite as much as I disliked her in the first game. Right, next would be the temple district. I need to find a place to rest, then we'll go. I'm not exactly sure what's expected of me there. My biggest worry is if I go on a murder spree, the reputation will suffer, so we need to do something I to counter that. Slave guard. Are you escorting the slaves? Out of my way! You there! Calm down, Corvale. Mr. F don't like you killing people in the streets. Shut your mouth, dwarf. As for you, I said get your stinking hide out of my way. Keep barking, dog. Just watch that your little keeper doesn't yank on your leash too hard. Those foul words will be your last. You'll die this day. Ah, now you've done it, blasted Paul. Couldn't ye see he was armed? Yeah, the vampire have special abilities. Blood drain. Children of the night. Uh, domination and such snare. Can I actually see what these things do? In order to survive, a vampire needs sustenance. This ability will drain the target of one to four constitution and knock the target unconscious from firebound. Okay. Children of the Night. When the vampire uses this ability, 1d4 creatures of darkness emerge from the shadows. As the vampire gains level, the creatures summoned become more powerful. Rats, wolves, shadows. Okay, and typical domination. Might as well try to drink enemies we encounter. What would you have me do? Hmm. What would you have me do? Very good. Ready for anything? You are lucky. I think if the target dodged there for effort. Kill them all and have done with it. You have armor. No. Hmm. Can be Miss Purple. Right. Any more slavers? Ah, right. 
so I need to rest what else go with whatever door wants to do We have an invitation for Rasa's quest too. I think we should take it after the door and business is done. Again, goal should be to get the six man group together as quickly as possible. Lord cheer then. Very well. Another quest. I think we have that area already available to us though. So it's it's not a priority by me. I got some cheap beer for ya. Right, there really isn't all that much I can sell. But maybe I can buy something useful. She needs her brain weapon. Has to be a slim. I need a range weapon. I think we have more or less enough ammunition, but ammunition is still cheap. Might as well buy a new set. Rasad can use a sling, I'm pretty sure. And you, you don't have a range attack ability at all, so I'm not too keen on giving her anything. I'll get some acid arrows. The fire arrows seem to be the shitty type, so the fire damage is neg negligible and they're not magical arrows, unlike in the first game. Acid arrows do more elemental damage, so that's why I want them to also have a benefit to hitting. So they're just superior arrows. Why I'm buying them is um, we probably want to go to the fortress that's besieged by trolls fairly quickly. So I want to have the tools to just kill trolls easily. Nira's horrible staff. Right, I think we have a normal magical staff. That's better. What can I Nira's staff has a chance to do damage to herself, which is ridiculous. I, I gotta stop dipping into me own ale. I must speak with you. It involves business. What sort of business? My business. While you were busy, I made contact with my old employer. He has instructed me to await orders. Okay, so what happens now? I am free to do as I please. Eventually, however, I will be approached by an agent of L. They will have work for me. You can decide then if you're interested. Okay. What would please me right now is to get moving. Shall we? Sure. Uh, we need to do the Dorn thing now. Uh, we we seem to be resting in the tavern as long as it takes to heal. That's fine, but not when we have time sensitive issues we can handle. I will enjoy this. I will take care of this. Yep.
Order of the Radiant Heart, something, something, kill the priest. I wonder how bad of a reputation drop is gonna be. We can't handle much. Uh, we basically have to go on trying to get, do anything to get the reputation to bounce back immediately. Well, this chance it doesn't follow normal rules. Like, it's not going to drastically affect the reputation, if at all. I wouldn't count on it, though. A uh, little bit of a side story. Not really interested. Doorman. It should be filled with paladins, so I'm not exactly sure how the fuck we're supposed to kill the priest. Good day to you. Good day to you, and welcome to the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. Are you here for the wedding? Um. Yes. Yes, we are. A wedding? I love weddings! <laughs> I haven't been to a wedding in years! The last one had two fights and a whole pack of summoned direwolves. It was so romantic. Although, this one probably won't be as much. Yeah, probably not. Are you with the bride or the groom? Uh, groom? Ah, uh, that is unfortunate. The bride's brother is here to prevent the groom's irritating friends from ruining the day. Boys? I'll send you to the abyss. It will be done. Well, I'm not sure what else I could have. I, I could have picked the others. Option, maybe that could have avoided the fight. Okay. Why is everyone going after the thief? Boom. You have the. You know, I, I hate the fact that I have to manually take the item on and off again. It affects. Uh, attributes in such a drastic manner. You have a problem. You are a slippery one. Victory unclear. Destruction. You are a certain. slippery one. Well, no reputation changes yet. Can I even heal a vampire? Yeah, it shouldn't exactly work, but uh, I guess the game is being a little bit lenient, so otherwise it would basically be a huge pain to ask to do anything in the current party. You do know what a bath is, yes? <laughs> Who are you? Uh, we're with the bride, seriously? I, I don't want to identify myself. I don't recognize you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't recognize you either. Haskell, the bride's brother. Um. Very pleased to meet Haskell. May we go to the chapel to partake in your sister's joy? Are you mocking me? Not at all. Why would you think that? This is no joyful occasion. My sister is heavy with child. This marriage takes place because my father wants it, not my sister nor her layabout husband to be. Hmm. Ah, now I understand. Well, regardless of the circumstances, I'd still like to witness this marriage. I'm sorry, this ceremony is private, and I don't know you. 
wait outside the church and you may congratulate the bride and groom when the deed is done. Um, we're here to kill the priest. Oh. I'm afraid I must insist. Irregardless, I cannot let you enter. And we can attach to the irregardless word. Right. We've business in the temple, boy. Stand aside and you may survive the sea tomorrow dawn. Better to die than live as a coward. Well, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't agree with that. Reputation decreased by two. Yeah, now it begins. It's six at the moment. I think if it reaches four, we're starting to get uh, pounding hunters. That's always gonna be fun. Hmm. Yeah. A waste of my talents, but so be it. I am concerned. What the what about? The path you're on of late worries me. No shit. The direction you are headed is fraught with danger. Not just physically, but morally. I know you're right. I'll do what I can to steer myself in a less unsavory direction. I can ask for no more. Yeah, I generally do mean that. I don't think I have time to work on my reputation at the moment, so I'm going to just take the heat and just suck it up. But we want to turn the direction immediately. But maintaining a neutral reputation shouldn't be hard. Uh, do we need to control this a little bit? What would very well. I am rising above this. Oh, great. You all come into the open in the middle of the car. Dearly beloved. And Colin, wretched piece of filth. And Colin. We are gathered here today in the eyes of Torm to join this man. This wretched piece of filth, you mean? And this woman in holy matrimony. Wait, wait. I can't do it. I can't go through with this. Oh, you will go through with it, my dear. I'll not have you shame our family with an illegitimate child. Forgive me, father. I lie. I'm not with child. I knew it. I knew you wanted me out of the house, father. And Colin is a good, kind man. He would be a good provider for me and our child. Our non-existent, imaginary child. Damn it, Colin. With dear is my weakness. I swear, if you don't shut your mouth, I'll wring your bloody neck. Please, take all the time you want to talk to your insane and in no way pregnant daughter. For myself, I'll just be going now. Colin, please, forgive me. I did it for love. I think this would perhaps be a good time to mention my honorarium is non-refundable. Dorn, this is your party. How do you suggest we proceed? Bollard Firejaw, come and meet your doom. Foul despoiler, you think I fear the likes of you? Your feelings on the matter are of no consequence. All that matters is that you die in the name of my master, Urgothos. Everyone stand aside. Give me room to teach this blackguard the folly of crossing the Radiant Hearth. What's happening, Daddy? Stay back! Bolag, stop this disruption! Swift and final. Ah. Someone get me out of here! Someone call the guards! Okay. I will listen. Still bail on this. I tell them all. None must live to tell of our deeds. Are you shitting me? I came here to kill him. I'm not killing the guest. No, please spare us. I swear we'll tell no one. Hmm. I'm not sure what I should say to him. I don't think it too matters too much. I'm reminded of another similar slaughter door. 
can I expect you to betray us as you were betrayed by Simeon? You've no need to fear me. At least for as long as you're of use. Hmm. I feel exactly the same way. We make a good pair. Okay, whatever. All right, go with me. Let's go. I'm not going to just. Well, I'm not sure what my options here in re reality are. You must gather Let's your pull away for now. I see what happens. I do as I will. Yeah, and do not give me it's the uh, range weapon users are here trapped. Mm. Ah, My shit. Tone. You have a problem? Why aren't they doing anything? Why is no one doing anything with my guys? Makes this easier. Ooh, Bright's father. You were lucky then, but luck runs out. Yeah, I don't get what's going on. They, Very they, well. they're basically Victory doing nothing. Unclear. Destruction. Ah, I'll rip you apart, you way-faced cur. All right, go with me. Let's go. You well, were lucky then. At least he's fighting but back. Runs out. Wedding guest. Why is the wedding? Why is the guest in the quotation mark? You were lucky then, but luck runs out. He's quite literally a wedding guest, so I I don't I don't get the purpose of the quotation marks there. Uh, plus one equipment, nothing special. You are going somewhere. I look you must forward. gather your party before venturing forth. It seems like we do need to basically kill enjoy. things. Things seems to be happening at the moment. What say you? Satisfied with the day's rewards? I'll take what I can. Our bloody work is done. The city guards will doubtless hear of this soon. Let us make haste, lest we risk discovery. Okay. Ooh, that conversation option here is weird. It's like I I have a... I can suggest him to join the party, but he's already in the party. Our combined skills would make us a force to be reckoned with. So I guess now he's more permanently as part of the party. Previously, he was more on a timer temporarily. Um, problem is, there was no indication that that was the case, so I don't get it. Still, job's done. I probably fail on this. And we desperately need reputation increases. Hmm. I. Right. Do we, though? And now comes the what are we really going to do? We can do start doing small things that could easily increase our reputation fairly quickly. We can uh, well, basically, we could go after the sixth party member. That would be uh, the abandoned amphitheater, I think. Not necessarily the site specifically, but he should appear along Krasad's personal quest line at some point. So that's basically what we should be doing. Um, it's only an eight hour trip. But yeah, I think that makes the most sense. I'll leave things here because I, I don't know what else, what unexpected mm, things might yes. happen. We're in fairly good condition with a decent amount of spells. What would you have Our equipment is, is shit, but uh, it might be sufficient in what will be done. to handle what we're trying to do. I mean, we have a five-man party. That allows you to do a lot of things. Uh, yeah. I, I think I'll go for the sixth man. 
once that's done, then we'll do whatever. Probably try to fix our reputation first. Right, if it's somewhere around 10, 12, 14, that's, that would be pretty much perfect. We want to keep it on the neutral, a little bit on positive because Dorn seems to be... He seems to have some kind of assassination or murder quest line. So I'm guessing the reputation drop we got here isn't going to be the only one. And if I would imagine it, it's probably just going to get worse and worse and worse. So two drop point reputation drop is the least of our problems. I, I can't even afford a two point drop at this point. So yeah, I want to get as many things done before I more door and stuff. It's the only one who's going to level up anytime soon. But yeah, um, the missing companion should be another fighter type. So we at that point we would have a uh, half the party be fighters, half the party. Well, two spellcasters, three fighters, and a thief. It's a, it's a fairly good party. 